Hi friends. Okay, I posted on my Instagram story um, just a Q&A, just so people can get to know us more. And surprise, we started a YouTube channel. So this is probably gonna be one of our first videos. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna dive in. Um, someone said, what do you miss most about home? I'm guessing like when we're in Cincinnati. I would say what I miss most is just like being close to family. Um, we don't really have any family out there. Um, what do you miss most? What do I miss most? Like about home when we're in Cincinnati. Just the same thing, how far we are from family. Yeah. Both of us, the furthest that we were from home, like all throughout college, really, all our life was like two, two and a half hours, two hours. Now we're like 20 hours, so. It's definitely an adjustment, but who's the better cook? You. <laughs> it's not even a question. Who ever asked that bad question? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, aw, our wedding planner said you have the best heart. Please give advice on how you're so stunning inside and out. Well, that's very sweet. She's talking about you now. <laughs> I know, both of us. No. Well, it could be no, pointed at both of us. towards you. That's really kind. Um, honestly, just being your authentic self, stand up for what you believe in, um, and your true heart will like always shine for, to the people that matter. So, someone said, "Are you starting a YouTube channel?" Surprise! Yeah. Surprise. We, <laughs> we just want to document more of like the behind the scenes, and honestly. I think that YouTube channels are really fun in the sense of like we'll be able to look back on the videos one day too, which will sure. be cool. How'd y'all meet? We can answer that one. Um, we met at a post spring game party. It's the best way to describe it. Yeah. <laughs> in college. Yeah. People, I don't know if I believe in like love at first sight, but like we clicked like really really fast and easy like i just feel like the connection was there really fast yeah and it was good what age did logan get into football um it would have been let's see I moved here in third grade so third grade flag football anyway and you couldn't play midget football here in casper until fifth grade yeah. Fourth or fifth grade, I can't remember. I have to look, but. I still think it's funny you saying that you just wanted to keep playing flag football because you didn't want to tackle people. I don't know, I was scared. I was scared <laughs> to play tackle football. Now you freaking wreck people. Now I play tackle football for a living. <laughs> How did you build your faith so inspiring? Um, I feel like we both could answer this one. For me, um, I could go on and on and on about different things, but truly just like knowing that this world is constantly changing, like physical things, they're not going to be here forever. And the only thing that is there forever is your faith. And it's the foundation. Um, someone told me one time and it's always stuck with me, um, is it's like the anchor when you're in a boat and it's windy and you're the waves are like pushing your boat back and forth. The anchor is the one thing holding you down. Um, and so just like holding on to that has just always been very important to me. Granted, I'm not perfect. I have days where I don't read my Bible like I should or do a devotion like I should or things like that. But I just feel like having that strong foundation and then the rest kind of like flows from it. Mine didn't really start until, like, later on in college. Um, it just took, it just takes time, that understanding that there's just a bigger picture than what you're really here on this earth for. And, like, specifically with me playing football, and there's always a fear of injuries and... Uh, I think it's just you just have you literally have to rely on the fact that no matter what happens like it's all part of his greater plan and I think that I've just learned to relish in that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that same analogy of like just an anchor like when you're playing you could 
be traded you could be cut like you all of these things that aren't in your control like the waves and the wind that are like rocking your boat you're not in control of that but like being anchored in christ which he says that he like hasn't been into his faith like as long as i have but it's crazy because he like teaches me things like relying on god and just like all turning to him and like not worrying and things like that so well there's just things like that i never realized like the way that i lived my life prior to knowing him like mm -hmm. he was always there but it was mm -hmm. things that i found out how i lived my life were like ways that you should live your life in the first place if you yeah. are a follower of christ and i think that that's kind of so it just came natural yeah you. you're just a good person yeah. <laughs> okay um let's see best dating advice best dating advice never stop dating that's good we just had a little date night tonight um that and communication i think that communication is one of the biggest things and it's still something that like we work on like every single day but like if you are not communicating like you can't read your partner's mind if he's upset about something and just like being moody which this is more me i do this way more but like he can't read my mind to know like oh she's upset about that i have to communicate that or like if I want some more quality time together, I have to communicate that. Or if he like wants me off of my phone more, like when we're hanging out, like communicate that. So I feel like communication and just respecting each other and trust. There's a lot of different things, but I feel like those are the big things. What are your wedding colors? Do you know our wedding colors? No. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> We get married in less than three months. <laughs> he doesn't know our wedding colors. I'll know what I need to know. Don't you stress. <laughs> our wedding colors are neon green and black. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, I know. Champagne. Champagne, bridesmaid dresses, and then just white roses and greenery. Just super timeless and elegant. Mm -hmm. Um, What got you into lifting at Morgan? Love your content. Well, thank you. Um, So I came from a, I was a competitive cheerleader all growing up. <laughs> this is our Stop golden, it. Olaf. Um, I did competitive cheer all growing up and then in high school I started running competitive track. I ran like middle school track but then I started lifting when I did competitive track and I honestly just like fell in love with it. Um, really loved it, we would lift really heavy um, for like lower reps so it's a little bit different than like what I lift now. Um, just like really working fast twitch muscles too. Um, and then when I got into college, same type of thing. I like with cheer, I mean, we lifted like all the time. Um, and I feel like I just built like a strong foundation with it. And now I just do it because one, I love it. And for two, I think that mixing like lifting regular cardio and like hit cardio is like a powerhouse for your body. Um, I know that that's what works really well for me. I feel like I can build muscle, but like stay lean and toned doing it that way. So yeah, that's kind of how I got into it. Are you having a big wedding? Also, what's your favorite memory together? Y'all are so cute. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, our wedding's gonna be pretty big. Our venue, well, we don't wanna go over 300. We're at like 280 right now. Um, so yeah, it'll be pretty big. We both have bigger families though. So it's like easy and we have amazing friends and just people in our lives. So, um, what's your favorite memory together? Um, <clears throat> probably just the first date, like first real date. Yeah, that was good. Logan and I's story is like a little bit different. We met and then we didn't actually start dating until like six months prior, which yeah. I feel like we could go into a whole nother video on that. But yeah, that first date was really good. How awesome was it to play in the Super Bowl in your second year in the league? Terrible. <laughs> just kidding. Sucked. Just kidding. Um, it, I just, every time someone asks me that, I just say how it was just surreal um, feeling. 
It's like the it's the game that anyone who ever plays football, like that's the game you would dream of playing or getting the opportunity to play in. Um, and I got to live it out. And then like another cool aspect was <clears throat> seeing all the celebrities there, like LeBron James, The Rock, um, Steph Curry. I mean, the list goes on. But and then just like understanding that they were they were at that game to watch us play. Um, obviously, we wish we could have won, but um, that's just kind of how she, how she goes sometimes. Boys. Boys are naughty. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, it's one of those things that like you watch on TV all the time growing up. Like you never think that you're gonna be there, and just seeing him on that stage too was incredible. It was really cool. What is your current workout split, and where do you get most of your workouts from? My workout split, so I normally do like three days on, one day off. So I'll lift like upper body, lower body, and then like hit cardio. I'll do like Peloton ride or something like that. Um, and my upper body days, I'll normally do more steady state cardio, whether that's like incline walking or Stairmaster. Um, I used to never do like steady state cardio, but I talked to my chiropractor about it and the like heart rate range is like prime for fat burning, which that's like not a goal of mine, but, and just like heart health too, is really good to just keep that like steady, um, like a little bit elevated heart rate. Elijah says y'all having an open bar. Not for you. Everyone but you. How did he know you were the one? I don't know, how did I? <laughs> I <laughs> What? Nothing. Um, I think the biggest thing that I'd say is that her she has a heart of gold, a heart of pure gold, not just gold, Aww. but pure gold. And um, just her caringness towards others and the way that she loves, and um, and she's also a Christian girl, so. That's how I know. There's a lot of things. That made me know. Why do you keep your relationship going strong? It just goes back to the um, best dating advice. Yeah. Just never stop dating. Yeah. It's poor. Because you gotta. You start to get sidetracked with life. So you just gotta like find time yeah. to do date nights. Not necessarily once a week, but just more often than you think. Yeah. And just doing little things like. I flowers every once in a while or just give her chocolate or just whatever <laughs> your whatever, girl loves her chocolate your significant other likes or enjoys mm -hmm. just going out of your way to like think about them um i feel like people grow complacent so easy and it's just like something that our world has kind of come to um and people don't want to work hard at things like i would so not yeah you don't want to work hard do you <laughs> um relationships like it's not going to be easy going all the time like sometimes you have to put in the hard work but like it's so rewarding um and also we just did a we're doing like an easter devotion and it just kind of talked about this how we take things that were gifts from god and we manipulate them and we pretty much just take them out of like the glory that God gave them. And I think that that's a lot of the time, like marriage and relationships, like those are such a gift from God. And like, we don't see them as that anymore. We kind of take advantage of them. We don't treat them correctly. So I think like seeing him as a gift and like seeing him as God's son and like, I'm gonna treat him as that, I think is huge. Who squats more? Easily me, Faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. We got a lot of Wilson Wednesday questions. They're not questions though, they're or, statements. Well, is it crazy having a day dedicated to you? What do you know about Wilson Wednesday? How, How does do Logan I feel Logan about Wilson feel about Wednesdays? Wilson Wednesdays? I don't even, didn't really know they were that big of a thing. <laughs> Neither, but I guess, guess they we're are. learning. <laughs> um, morning routine. Both of ours are pretty simple. We wake up. I mean, obviously season and off season are different, but either way we wake up, let the dogs out. I normally come out first. Logan uses a neti pot and like washes his hair down and stuff like that in the mornings. 
comes down, we both drink our, I drink like a probiotic and BPN reds, and then he drinks BPN reds and BPN greens. Um, we have our coffee. I've been starting to listen to worship music in the morning, and then obviously he's here too, so he listens to it. Um, I'll do a devotional sometimes, just depends on the day. And then, uh, yeah, I'm being honest, I don't do it every single morning. Um, and yeah, that's about it. During the season, I work out like early because he wakes up so early. And then, um, <laughs> um, and then he goes into the facility. But again, off season is a little different. Favorite thing about Cincy? We both, I feel like, love that it's a small city. It's not like an overwhelming big city, but you still get a taste of city life. Like, you can go to a Reds game or you can go to like a new restaurant all the time. So there are things that we really, really love about it. <clears throat> Morgan said include how y'all met. We did. We love you, Morgan. Um, no, we have not tried Skyline Chili and I don't think that I will be trying it, unfortunately. Ever been to Canada, eh? No, not yet. <laughs> Holly wants to know why you're so hot. Who? Holly. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> um, we'll do a couple more. Kids coming soon. We definitely want kids in the future. It'll just be all God's timing after we get married. So who knows? Um, do people from high school treat y'all different now that Logan is in the NFL? I, no, I'm still friends with all my high school buddies. Yeah, I would say like the real people that have been there since like day one they're still there we still talk with them okay that's most of them we skipped some but that's all folks <laughs> we love you guys thank you for tuning in say bye Waffy.